gonna be treating Frank McGrath. He has a chronic nerve issue, and so we're gonna be treating it using our cytorich, platelet-rich plasma injection. We're gonna be walking you through the whole process from beginning to end, and why we're treating him, and why he got this problem in the first place, and what the options are for this type of problem. So let's get into it. So just to give you guys a background, Frank is the most vascular bodybuilder there is, and it's not just me saying it. If you Google most vascular bodybuilder, you'll see it's Frank McGrath. Unfortunately, even though he's been fairly healthy for most of his career, now towards the tail end of his career, he's been having some pain in both of his arms. And we did a bunch of diagnostic imaging and we, we didn't really find too much in terms of actual structural pathology. And so a lot of his pain we thought was neuropathic or nerve pain. And th the reason we think this is because it was kind of shooting down his arms, he was having burning pain, some weakness as well. And so we made a diagnosis that this is most likely a nerve entrapment or nerve irritation. And there's different types of nerves. And so the nerves we're gonna be treating are called the radial nerve and then also one called the ulnar nerve. And these are the nerves that innervate the arms and the forearms and when they become inflamed and irritated, they can cause pain in that whole forearm area. If you've ever known anyone who has chronic nerve pain, you, they'll tell you it's the worst type of pain that you can live with. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of sciatica. Sciatica is nerve pain that comes from the spine that goes down the leg. And so nerve pain can really be anywhere in the body and nerves can get entrapped or stuck between tissue. And when they get stuck between tissue, they become inflamed and irritated and then that can cause chronic pain and inflammation. And so we know there are inflammatory mediators, cytokines that get released that cause inflammation when this happens. So we now know two main problems. One is biomechanical and one is biochemical. What that means is the nerve is being entrapped biomechanically. And then because of that, there's inflammation biochemically, there's cytokines that are being released. So these are the two main things that we want to target when we're doing any sort of treatment for nerve pain. So I am IFEB Pro Frank McGrath and uh, here at Dr. Khan's office today uh, to fix yet another problem that I have. Um, uh, I'm having some pretty major problems with my forearms and I'm the forearm, supposed to be the forearm guy and been having some problems with my forearms for about over a year now. Pretty much started pretty slow. I just noticed that it was like a little painful but like I'm a, I'm a guy. I just work through it always. Uh, and for me to actually go to a doctor when something's this bad, it's got to be bad. Like it's actually s stopping me from training. So it's a, I pretty much work through all pain but this is too much. Even like even as simple as simple tasks at home, holding my phone in my hands for too long, my forearms just start to, just pain that starts in my forearms. So it's um, even affecting my day-to-day -day life of normal things. So it's definitely something major going on. And um, like I said, even like the last time I tried to train, uh, I couldn't really train at all. My, my forearms were just hurting too much. Uh, and it's actually caused muscle atrophy in my forearms as well too. So it's, uh, messing with my mind so I you know um, I'm not sure what caused it um, I've tried to ask a lot of people like why why would something this happen to someone like me who has such you know big forearms and it's my probably strongest body part of it I have why would that happen and, and they say it could be just overworked it's such a like I was my forearms grew because I could be doing legs and I'm just holding on a machine my forearms would get pumped I think it's just my genetics and uh, maybe it's you know, 30 years of training that's just caused some kind of nerve issue. I don't, I'm not a, like a, I don't know, a doctor obviously, so I don't really know, but uh, I, know, I don't know much about nerve problems and stuff. And this is the first thing I've ever really had to deal with like this. I've had injuries before, but something that just like you just heal. This is something that just won't get better on its own. It's uh, pretty much been constant for over a year and it's just at a point where it's something has to change. Like it's like stop training, which is not, not an option or find someone to fix it. When you talk to any other doctor, they're pretty much, they just tell you to stop doing, I've been told before to stop. Like, you know, if that's causing you pain, just stop. And Dr. Khan's an athlete himself, so he understands like that's not really an option for us. Like it just because something injured or is a problem or pain doesn't mean you have to stop doing something that you love to do. And like, this is my, I've been doing this 30 years. This is my passion and it's like, there's nothing gonna make me stop it. And he understands that because he does it himself. Like most doctors don't train, so they don't think it's important, right? Um, and you know, I see Dr. Khan in the gym almost every single day and we chit chat in the gym every day and I tell him about all my problems. So, um, you know, he's just someone who gets it. He gets the, why we do what we do, why we beat ourselves up. And like most people probably wouldn't get it that don't do it themselves. Like I said, most doctors, they, they, that's all they do. They're not an athlete, they don't train, they don't, you know, take care of themselves, which is kind of strange if you're a doctor. 
um, but he lives the lifestyle like kind of like like we do, like pro athletes. So, and he's a doctor; he knows you know everything. So, um, it's good to have someone with that much knowledge and understands the lifestyle we live. Doctor Khan is the only person I believe that knows the true answer. We talked about it, and he believes it's a nerve issue. Um, so, definitely excited to get this treatment today and get this problem resolved. And uh, yeah, just can't get wait to get it done. It's gonna feel great. <laughs> So Frank McGast, as we were talking about, is a well-known bodybuilder and we're going to be treating those nerves that we talked about earlier. So usually the nerve pain treatment is focused more on medications such as gabapentin or Lyrica. These are just chronic nerve pain medications. What we focus on is to treat the underlying pathology. This is the whole principle of regenerative medicine. We're not just trying to mask the pain, we're trying to heal the tissue. And so we have a new type of plasma called Cytorich, which is a second generation patented plasma injection. The main difference is that instead of being promoting inflammation and targeting muscle and tendons, it's actually reducing inflammation. And so it's better for nerves and joints. And this is very different from regular platelet-rich plasma injections. It's unfortunate because the word platelet-rich plasma is a very catch-all term, and it doesn't really mean anything unless you characterize or qualify it. And so in this case, we're not really focused on the platelets. We're really focused on the anti-inflammatory effect that this plasma has. And it works through something called monocytes, which target and reduce inflammation. So what we're gonna use is cytorich PRP around the nerve and do a procedure called hydrodissection where we dissect out the nerve from the surrounding fascia and tissue. And by separating it out, we're treating the biomechanical restriction and then the cytorich plasma has an anti-inflammatory effect that helps with the nerve pain. Now, sometimes in severe cases, I'll also use Botox and even certain peptides such as cerebrolysin or BPC-157 or ARA-290. These are all peptides that can work synergistically with the plasma injections. And I'll be making a separate video about peptides as well, just to go more detail into that.